As Head of Partnerships, I wanted to find out how brands and right holders are adapting to changing tech trends in sport. I caught up with John Dutton, Rugby League World Cup CEO, to find out more. What are the biggest changes you've seen during your career, particularly in terms of tech, innovation and partnership trends? We're now part of a digital revolution that's happening for our eyes, how people are consuming sport and entertainment is changing tremendously. The behaviour of Generation Z, Millennials, is something that people such as myself have to really understand and make sure that our products and offers are suited to that particular audience. Understanding um, you know, Generation Alpha, the children of Millennials and how they will consume sport. But we've got a lot of learning to do in terms of uh, sport consumption not everyone will want to sit down and watch 80 minutes either on TV on a tablet or, or in the venue and we've got to make it interesting different and we've got to adapt to audience insight and understanding we want to create an incredible a world-class and immersive fan experience and, and I think that the use of the LED boards the digital inventory that we have and also people's phones that they bring into the stadium so we're really interested about how innovative and how far we can push that boundary why do you think esports has taken off so much in the past 12 to 18 months it's just exploded. Yeah, yeah it's, it's a phenomenon. You're looking at sports teams and rights holders now investing in that space um, and we want to be right in the middle of that and we want to deliver a proportionate offer that really showcases the Rugby League World Cup across the globe. We will have an esports offer, we will run the first ever esports Rugby League World Cup and that's in pursuit of engaging particularly with Generation Z and that, and that new audience. You mentioned that you know, the industry is changing mm. all the time, what do you think we'll like to see this year? More innovation. I think people are looking for that point of difference. We're quite interested in augmented reality and I think that can be a really interesting way of brands in particular activating and bringing their story to life. I think also around legacy, around human interest, around demonstrable impact, making a positive impact and particularly at a, at a local level yeah. and I think that's a great opportunity for brands to get involved. In my final soundbite with John, I get to hear his thoughts on successful brand and rights holder partnerships.